Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Lord Zath bringing you the good word that would be Zath's Replay Theater. Um, this is Jedi Master K something. I think it's Jedi Master Kyle, also known as Darth Kyle Super Lord Guy thing, who uh, I used to play with a bit, so it's kind of cool to see him back. Uh, he took a break, came back, said, hey, cool, you've... Uh, Done all kinds of crazy stuff, and what else are you doing with your life? And my response has been nothing. Um, so here I am, and uh, told him about the replay theater, and so he sent this replay over to me in his Iwaki Alpha, and I can already tell he's seal clubbing. I'll tell you why in a second. Um, so originally I said no, nope, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this, and then I decided, you know what? Maybe I should. And uh, I'm doing it for a few reasons. One, because I'm insanely jealous that he's got one, and I don't. Um, despite the fact that, you know, uh, I have an alpha flag just like you do, sir. So, I don't, I don't know, I don't get it, but whatever. Um, other shots... I hope I can hear the horn, too. I heard the horn's pretty hilarious. Oh, that could actually work. Alright, please bear with me as I take a couple of screenshots from my cover photo. It's something that I just characteristically do. And uh, this is uh, part of the reason why I decided to take do this replay is because of the fact that a lot of people don't know what the ship is and its strengths and what it can do and all that kind of stuff so Kyle is running credit reduction dragon flag Papa Papa flag equal speed Charlie London and Zoo Hotel these are all credit and XP boosting flags which are a complete waste of time at tier 4 mr. Kyle I wouldn't be running those, and here's your Zulu for credit gain too. You only have two flags that I would personally maybe run, and that would be the two fire chance flags. All the rest of them, yeah, you're going to have uh, pretty decent earnings for credits and XP, but I'll tell you what, there's a lot more you get at uh, tier 5 and up, especially tier 7 and up. So personally, a personal rule for me, I don't run any XP boosting flags unless I'm at tier 7. Also, if I'm going to run tier XP boosting flags, you've heard it before from me, I'm also going to run XP boosting camouflage. Finally, look on the bottom row here. This is disgusting. You're, if you're going to invest in these XP flags uh, and credit boosting flags, you might as well also invest in premium consumables. That will get you, um, that will get you better um, performance in game. All right. Now, let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, why this ship is so special. Um, this is a gift for the Alpha Testers. It's a Tier 4 cruiser. It looks kind of like Akuma, right? Um, there's a couple differences. One, it's got a module that enables you to... Um, it, that like super reduces your dispersion so that if you are pretty good with your aim you'll hit your target almost dead on so that's the first thing the second thing is it's got torpedoes that reach an insane eight kilometers or are they ten kilometers hold on sometimes i missed it's ten kilometers it's even dumber um and so that's that's better than ten view that's better than pretty much everything at this tier or better so um you know, that's crazy. Shot was way off there. Um, also, shooting behind, you should be shooting to the right. Um, I would be shooting over here. Torpedoes. Now, the Alpha also has um, Hydro. So if you ever see an Awaki Alpha in, in battle, uh, what you should be thinking about is, one, 10 kilometer torps. Two, uh, very very accurate guns and three if you see somebody do this <laughs> I'm 
Switch to AP and Citadel that bleep out of them, alright? Um, by the way, Kyle, pop... Man, that's the other thing too, it's got smoke. Um, pop your, pop your Hydro, so you can see his torpedoes. Torpedo, 4.3 after firing guns and smoke. Alright. So you got kind of lucky there that that guy didn't really know what he was doing. And boy, did it save you. But yeah, if you had that hydro going, you could have you could have seen it coming sooner. Now you pop the hydro. Careful with that torp. You see that Isokaze there? He might pull a crazy Ivan. I've seen it happen so many times. Crazy Ivan is when a, a, a teammate is heading a certain direction. You fire the torpedoes, and they, like, immediately make a 180-degree turn for absolutely no good reason other than they thought it might be funny. And, uh, they just find a way to eat all of your torps. And then you go pink, and then they get upset with you. And you're like, dude, I told you. And they're like, dude, what the heck? And see what I mean? So, oh, your torps fire on both sides. That's kind of nifty. Still a little off in gunnery here. Um... Where's my cursor? I would be shooting here. Aiming here. Uh, aiming here. Now you'll notice that he's also got um, radio location, so he knows where the enemy is. It's good to do. That's good to have. Um, Hydro tells him if he's got torpedoes coming his way immediately. Um, obviously he didn't, so that's kind of neat. He has incoming fire alert. I don't know if you notice on the right here, it flashes a little bit. There's also a ship that's over here somewhere. It might be the Dene, it could be something closer. Oh, just went up again. He's also he's also running um he's also running priority targets, so he knows that two people were just targeting him. Another thing I'm noticing is that you are changing... Oh, no, 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 no. You're changing um, your your angle quite a bit, your, your guns. You're switching from the right to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, and that's wasting an awful lot of time getting your turrets to traverse. And why I was saying no, 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 is because you've got an Isakaze right there. I would have held the torps for the Kaiser or for this Dene over here. Now, thanks to RPF, you know where he is, right? See, now you're going back to the, the right side with your guns. Um, and then you're switching to the left side again. So your your poor turret operators are like, oh, as they try to turn the turret left and then right and then left and then right again. Um, so, yeah. Uh, also, I'd probably... Eh, I guess you don't need to. I was going to say, I would use AP here, but um, you somehow said it out the name. Maybe you're using IFHE then. And once again, I'm going to help you with, with telling you where to shoot. Now, if you're going to zoom out like that, uh, I wouldn't shoot while zoomed out unless they're right next to you. Kaiser is using HE. That's um, that's a shameful display. Um, all right, move. Look to the right. Look to see. And again, you're changing your guns. So now you've got your poor gunners over here that have to switch around the whole ship again. Nope. Don't do that. Torpedoes are just going to hit the island. Ah! Oh, we got lucky there. Yeah, you see, you, you shot that way, and he's clearly going away. So, torps are going to hit the island. Uh, what I would do in that situation is torp the channel in between. Because you might hit the Kaiser, you might hit the Dene. Whatever, you got a Freant with you. And you got right, and you got quite the team with you now. It's like everybody's forming up on the Alpha Tester. This is kind of funny to watch over here. And you're smoking up. Alright, if you're going to smoke up, then... Um, slow down. Yeah, and now it doesn't matter. See, if you have, if you had torped the channel earlier, um, you might have actually gotten a, a hit on him, because obviously he went down the channel. I don't like this. Yeah. So, um, you're probably going to get 
Justice! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Justice! But, um... Can I drop the hood? There we go. But, you know, like, like I was saying, I would probably not have, um... I would not have been so aggressive with this, first of all, and second of all, I would get in the habit of, of turning my guns the same way. Let's take a look at your guns and where they're positioned. This one is firing towards the back. This one's firing towards the front. This one's firing towards the side. This one's firing towards the front. You see what I mean? So basically, this poor rear turret was never really able to get into the action and help out. Um, this other front waist turret could help out as you turn, but you kind of lost the benefit of this rear turret. It isn't that big of a deal in the low tiers um, with this ship, but higher tiers it becomes a bigger problem. Now, let's let's get a picture of the sinking alpha tester because that will make me feel better. Aha. Look at that! That's what we want to see. Well, yeah, sure. All right, up, 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 up. Ooh, in the trees. Alpha tester dies within the trees in the forest. Look at that, framing the photo, huh? huh? Get that flag in there, and that's good. Um, so anyway, I think that the biggest mistake um, that you made here was uh, going back and forth through the turrets. Second big mistake was misusing your consumables. Third big mistake is, God, get those flags out of here, those economic flags, you're triggering me, man. Um, and pop those uh, premium consumables on. That will help you quite a bit. Um, and the other thing, you've got smoke, use it, and learn when to use it and when not to use it. Um, you used it way, way, way too late. Um, let somebody else take a lead, for God's sakes. Um, these guys are, are perfect for, for um, uh, cannon fodder, essentially. So let them get in front, let them get shot at, pop your smoke, and laugh as they die around you. Now, I do like the fact that you are spectating the rest of the battle. Um, sometimes that comes in really handy. You can you can give your teammates some suggestions like that. I like how you're being a cheerleader here and saying good things about the team. That's awesome. Um, one of the things I always enjoyed about playing with you is that, you, for the most part, there's always that positive energy that we're going to kick their butt. We're going to do things. So, there you go. As the Miyogi comes in, we're going to speed this up a little bit more because at this point it doesn't really matter too much anymore and I need to go to bed in 20 minutes. Yep. See, and once again, you're you're giving him the you're giving him suggestions and tips and all that good stuff. That's good to see. Pew 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 it's still going, guys. Wow, they were finally done. That took a lot longer than I thought it would, to be honest. <laughs> All right, well, Kyle, thank you so much for sending in this replay. I hope you uh, enjoy the commentary. hope it helps you um, get good or whatever. Uh, for the rest of you guys, uh, as always, please send me uh, your replays. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Downvote if you really don't like it. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, there's a patch coming out tomorrow. This is being recorded Tuesday night. Patch night is Wednesday, which means uh, that I'm not going to have replays to share for a while. So if you have sent replays, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to them. I'm sorry. Um, but if you've got new replays, by all means, send them to me. And this is the best time to get your replay featured on my replay theater. Because if you think about it, I don't have that many replays anymore. That means the pool of replays for me to draw from is very, very tiny. So keep that in mind. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Have a great rest of your day.